What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be throwing artificial lures and we're going to be fishing for whatever bites. Typically this time of year, um, there's going to be a lot of trout, uh, maybe redfish, flounder. But we're mainly going to be throwing artificial uh, shrimp, DOA shrimp, and uh, we might throw some paddle tails too. See what happens. Hopefully we get on them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got to our first spot and um, it's super chilly out here. It's about like 50 degrees and the wind is blowing from my, my left side. So we're gonna have to be fishing on this side. It looks like it's uh, it's incoming tide right now. Um, so that water is pushing that way. Doesn't really matter which way the, uh, the water is pushing. We're gonna be fishing on this side and then once that that tide switches once once it drops um, the fish will be stacked up near the bridge where the deeper part of the uh, the water is and usually this time of year the trout gets uh, gets stuck right in the uh, right near the bridge because it's, it's deeper got my medium outfit today seven foot um, medium Zodias, Shimano Zodias, paired up with the 3000 uh, Shimano Accents, 10 pound braid, and uh, we're running 20 pound leader today. Let's rig it up real quick. Uh, we're gonna be throwing the Salt Strong Slam Shady Paddle Tail first. We'll rig that up with like a, a two odd, three odd twist lock. Look at that. Oh, one left. I thought it was out. We got one twist lock left. Actually, I have a brand new pack in the uh, in the truck. Let's rig it up real quick. I like throwing light colors like this one here, whether it be pink or that color right there, the Slam Shady. Or the, uh, the Glow in the Dark DOA Shrimp. Let's rig this up real quick. Pretty simple. All right, got the uh, Slam Shady paddle tail rigged up. Man, I'm stoked. That looks so good. Looks so good. We're gonna catch fish with this. All right, here we go. Super shallow over here, so you do want to stick around like eighth ounce or even uh, one sixteenth, something light. That way you don't drag grass. Once once you start dragging grass with the uh, the lure, um, I feel like it's unnatural at that point, and you won't get the strikes. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just casting that lure way out there, and just do a steady retrieve. Just real, let the tail do its thing. Oh yeah, good one. Good fish, guys. Good fish. That's a good fish, man. Oh my gosh. He smoked that Slam Shady. Three inch paddle tail, man. That's a freaking tank. Oh, a crap. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That hook set right on the corner of the mouth, man. He ain't going anywhere. Come here, guy. That, my friend, is a healthy looking speckled trout. Jeez. And he destroyed that Slam Shady uh, paddle tail. Good deal, man. First trout of the morning. You know what? We're actually going to be keeping these fish. We're going to keep a couple. I feel like eating some trout tacos today. So we're throwing this guy in the cooler. That's a solid one there. Usually I don't keep trout, but um, it's been a while. So let's put him in the box. I'll be right back. All right, man. That was a solid, solid trout. We're gonna have to put a new uh, paddle tail on because that guy destroyed it, so. But it's okay. I have uh, a couple of these, these packs. Here we 
go. Freshy, what you're doing is you're casting that lure out there and literally all you're doing is just reeling. Steady retrieve. Don't jerk it or anything. Steady retrieve and then, you know, just, just keep on working it. That wind is really helping with the casting. And I do like longer casts with it uh, when I'm fishing the flats. So I can cover, uh, cover more ground, basically. Here's another one. Oh yeah, dude, that's a solid one there. Another solid one. <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. So much fun. I don't think he's as big as the other one that uh, I brought up, but still, man, solid, solid trout. Look at the specs on him. So cool. Let's hope he doesn't uh, shake the hook. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was actually trying to grab him, but <laughs> it's all right though. That's fishing. <laughs> all right, I got a trick for you guys. If you guys don't want to snag any grass, so what you want to do is push that that lure all the way up like that, and then just tuck that the point of the hook into the lure, just like that. So now it's completely weedless. See that? And then when the trout bites it, he'll get hooked. Don't worry. Cause he's gonna he's gonna chomp on that part right there, and make the hook expose, and bam, he's on. Let's see if we can whack another one. So much fun! I love catching trout because they're so easy to fool, you know, and they school up most of the time. There's one. Here's another one, guys. That's a good one. That is a good one. This one's a tank. He's pulling drag a little bit. The one that I lost, he wasn't really pulling drag, but this guy here, it's pretty decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my guy. Well, he's all right. About, about the same size as the, uh, a little bit smaller than the first one, but pretty chunky still. We're going to keep this guy, and then the rest will have to be catch and release. You're allowed to keep three trout per person a day. The slot size is going to be 15 to 19 inches. Correct me if I'm, uh, if I'm wrong, it's always changing. But we're keeping two trout today. Hopefully we don't lose this one. Another solid one there. Nice and cold. Alright, let's throw them in the box. Oh no. No. <laughs> Come on. Dang it. So much for throwing it in the box. <laughs> oh man. There's one. There's another one. They're sitting down deep, man. This guy might be a little bit smaller. He's not coming up uh, to shake his his yellow mouth. Ah, uh, there he is. He might be pretty decent. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Now. Come here, guy. Come on. Come on. You can't lose this guy here. Another good one there. Let's grab him by his gill like that. Dang. He's a little skinnier, but um, we'll keep him. Look at that teeth, man. That teeth is like razor sharp. Got one fang. All his teeth is facing like the opposite direction, like pointing inwards in the mouth. So that bait fish can't really escape. I'd hate to be like a greenback or a pinfish. But anyways, nice trout. 
let's put him uh let's put him in the box he's a little he's a little bit smaller actually we'll let this guy go he's a little smaller we'll see if we can get um another one that's like about the same size as the one in the box all right see you guy the bite's starting to slow down now so we are going to switch up to the doa shrimp fishing with shrimp we will throw that later in the day we'll switch it up but we're gonna put this uh, shrimp lure on and we're gonna add a little bit of scent a little bit of dr. juice action onto it actually let's let's tie it up first so with this one you want to use a loop knot the reason why you want to use a loop knot is uh, you'll get more action out of that lure I like doing it with a shrimp lure but with a paddle tail I like to use a uh, clinch knot, steady retrieve it. But with this one here, you want to let it sink. So you want to, I'll show you, I'll show you guys how to work it. Basically you want a loop knot just like that right there. That way it gives it more action. Let's put a little bit of scent onto this. That's good right there. Dr. Juice. You can pick this up for free too. Um, just got to pay for shipping. Here we go. Oh, there it is. There's one. That's a good one. Oh my god, dude, that's a freaking that's a nice sized trout on the shrimp there. Smoke that DOA shrimp. Slurp it up, man. This guy's got two fangs. Nice. Ouch. Ouch. There we go. Good one. He's a little small, though, man. I don't know. Uh, they're all going to be that size. We're going to put this guy in the box and um, release the rest. DRA shrimp with uh, Dr. Juice. We are out here whacking the trout. Two trout in the uh, in the box so far. Um, actually, that's gonna be it. We're not gonna keep any more trout. That's uh, that's plenty of uh, fish for the day. We're gonna make tacos later. There it is. Oh, that, that's a good one. That's another good one there. Dude, these guys are so much fun. Oh, dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, that might be the biggest one there. What? Oh no! Hook pulled. Dang, that was a tank. Oh my god, dude, that's another good one. Let's hope this guy stays on. Loosen the drag up on him a little bit. Let him do its, uh, do its thing. Do its trout thing. Oh yeah, solid, solid trout. Dang, man, look at that. Freaking chunky trout right here, man. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. On the DOA shrimp. All right, man, good deal. We're gonna put this guy back in the water. Like I said, we're only gonna keep two trout today. That's plenty, but um, pretty cool, man. So much fun to catch. All right, see you, dude. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I close out this video, let me show you guys the uh, lures and the scent we were using for today. Um, I've been using this Slam Shady three and a half inch paddle tail. You can pick that up for free. Uh, just click on the link down in the description. Just gotta pay for shipping, that's all. Same with the uh, the Dr. Juice here. Free Dr. Juice, just gotta pay for shipping. This is the uh, the twist lock that I've been using for the uh, Slam Shady Paddle Tail. It's a three aught um, owner twist lock, eighth ounce. Really good hooks for smaller baits like that. And for fishing shallow water, like a couple foot of water or a foot of water, you can really slow down that, um, that lure while you're retrieving without snagging any grass. I mean, here and there, you'll, you'll snag 
grass, but it's, it's, it's very minimal. So check that out. I'll leave everything down in the description box below so you guys can pick them up. So when it comes to inshore fishing, this has got to be my favorite outfit of all times. The rod we're using for today is a Shimano Zodius seven foot medium action. And I feel like this is the lightest rod in this class. Perfect for throwing um, smaller baits, whether it be live shrimp, freelining fiddler crab, or uh, throwing smaller lures like that. Quarter ounce, eighth ounce. Without the right tackle, you won't be able to get that, that lighter lure out there to the fish. I paired that up with the uh, Shimano Accents size 3000. This reel right here is, is bulletproof. I've had it for um, a year now. It's gone through a lot, man. It's caught a lot of fish. It's made out of magnesium. 20, 24 pounds of max drag, plenty for inshore. Super smooth. You guys got to check it out. Shimano Accents size 3000. Paired up with 10 pound Andy Black Braid. The braid's been holding up pretty good. 10 pounds is all you really need for inshore like fishing for redfish, snook, trout on the flats, wide open water, 10 pounds is plenty. We're using 20 pound Uzuri fluorocarbon leader. I was thinking about going down to 15, but they've been biting on 20 pound. So I just stuck with 20 pound. That's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.